Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about the auto resize property in forms. I'm going to show you how to make your forms stay exactly the size you want them to. Today's question comes from Javier from Campinas, Brazil, one of my Platinum members. Javier asks, I know you can position a form by moving it in form view and then saving it with control S. However, is there any way to get it to stay sized to the same dimensions I want as well? It seems every time I save, close, and reopen it, Access resizes it on me. Well, yes, Javier, that is Access's default behavior when it comes to forms. It'll save the position, but it'll automatically resize it, and you can change that with one setting. Let me show you where it is. Here I am in a copy of my Tech Help free template. You can grab a copy of this yourself. It's a free download from my website. I'll put a link down below in the description. Now, by default, whenever you move a form in form view, all right, move it over here and save it with Control S. All right, I just saved it. Now, when I close this form and reopen it again, there's main menu. It keeps that spot. All right, so I can slide it over here, save it, close it. And then when I open it up, there it is. Same thing with the customer list. If I want the customer list to open right there next to the main menu, save it there, close it. And then when I reopen it again, it pops up there. So you can position the forms to appear wherever you want. This is one of the reasons why I like the overlapping windows. By default, when you create a new database, Access puts you in that tabbed view where every form takes up the full screen. I don't like that. I never have. I'm a little old school. I like the overlapping windows. You can you have more control over where stuff goes on the screen too. I show you how to make that change in the free blank database video where I show you how to make this template. I show you how to make that setting too. There's a link to that video down below in the link section as well. Okay, so what about sizing this? If I size this window like that, let's say I want it to be that big. Okay, if I save it and close it and open it back up again, Access resizes it. Why? Well, go to design view. Basically, the size is going to be based on the width of the form this way. And you can size it vertically for continuous forms. Like if I take this form and resize it like that and hit save and close it and open it back up again, vertically, it will keep that setting. All right, for a continuous form. Not for a single form, though, like the customer form is a single form. If I resize this guy like that, and save it and close it and reopen it. That doesn't keep the setting, but continuous forms will. All right, and if you don't know what continuous forms are, again, I got videos on that. I'll put a link down below. Now, if you want access to stop automatically resizing your forms altogether, go to the form properties right there. Double click where that little box is. You'll find some settings over here. Go to the format tab and you'll see auto resize. It's set to yes right now. All you have to do is set that to no. Now, Access will remember and keep whatever sizes you want for each of your forms. So if I open up Customer List and I resize it to that high and that wide, save it, close it, reopen it again, and there you go. Access will keep the last size that you saved it at. Now, if I save it and close it and reopen it again, it still has the last size. You have to remember to save it. So resize it like that. Maybe bring it in just a little bit, okay? Save it, control S. All right, close it, reopen it. There you go. All right, so that one setting, you have to do that each for each of your forms that you want to turn off, auto resize in. All right, I want that to be right there and that size and close it and then reopen it. That's it. Want to learn more? In the extended cut for members, I'll show you how to manually resize that window with a button. So for example, here's your customer form. You can see just the important stuff when it normally opens. If you want to see the extended stuff, you click this little button here and then the window opens up like that. And you can see additional information. That's covered in the extended cut for members. As a reminder, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. 
Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.